Let's get this out of the way. Is the Juggernaut too OP? Yes, he is. Think back into the day. Okay, we're obviously gonna have to go into more detail. So, first of all, let's go over the stuff that were changed with the old Juggernaut. Or technically, yeah, let's go over the first Juggernaut. So, the OG Juggernaut had, basically, first of all, this is what its stats or whatever had. It had, back then, 20 damage per hit. Movement speed was 18. And, realistically, its health back then was 1,500. And, depending how many survivors there were, it would increase by, like, a 1,000 or something like that. And, that was basically the OG Juggernaut. However, the new Juggernaut got a ton of changes, or a decent amount of changes, to where it literally got steroids. Oh, it's a lot faster, deals more damage per claw attack, aka punch, and it just generally feels like it just got super buffed, even though I'm pretty sure they didn't mean for it to get super buffed. Anyway, so back then, old Juggernaut was a infected that wasn't like winning, winning, um, what's it called? A win, win instantly uh, type of infected, but it did give you a pretty good advantage, especially depending on what map it was, and especially what game mode, and what, what your teammates had. Now, the Juggernaut is basically, if there's a Juggernaut on your team, literally either all hell's gonna break loose and you somehow kill him, or most of the time, it's just gonna be a game over. This guy has basically, okay, let's go over the new stats, which is 25 damage per punch, and its movement speed has been increased by, what is that, four points? 18 to 22, meaning it goes a little bit more faster. However, I feel like the biggest problem to why everyone thinks this guy's very OP is just the fact that this guy is fast. Now, OG Juggernaut, he wasn't really that, that fast. You can actually outrun him quite easily, kind of. He would still catch up after a little bit of time. However, this new Juggernaut is pretty damn fast. I've seen so many occasions where I would use a candy cane, run away for a bit, turn, literally look around my shoulder, and there he would be, literally coming barely towards me, and literally within feet away from me, basically. This guy is pretty damn fast, especially after the buffs he had claimed, or actually gotten, really. And the biggest thing he actually ever got, which I'm pretty sure is the movement speed, is also the fact that depending how many survivors they are, he will get even more HP, which is not necessarily a big problem. So now that we've gone over like what he has currently, I'm gonna go over the, the problems I see why people believe that he is incredibly powerful and he needs nerfs. Number one is, I'm pretty sure it's obvious, is the fact that he's fast as hell. I'm pretty sure nobody really wants an infected that just won't leave them alone for one millisecond and, and can literally punch them within seconds and just will literally catch up to them even if they continuously sprint away from them. I feel like the biggest way to actually fix the Jorna is just to decrease his like movement speed back to 18 or maybe like 19 or like 20-ish somewhere around there. 22 basically makes them pretty damn fast to catch up to you pretty easily. Next up is, I'm pretty sure, the shaman healing thing. Now, I did play a ton of games using the Juggernaut, and most of the time when I got healed by the shaman, I got healed by like 400 to like uh, 600 to 800 HP. You get healed a shitload amount of HP. Even by just regenerating after while they're shooting at you, you still regenerate a huge amount of your HP. So a proper change is well pretty obviously just to decrease the amount of HP the shaman can heal you probably to like at most like 400 that's it to where yes you can still kill him but at the same time that wouldn't really necessarily be enough so probably like 400 or 500 or somewhere around there because I feel like getting killed like with 800 or more of your HP by a shaman is just way too OP especially the fact that literally the juggernaut can just go to the other side of the map or just retreat and instantly a shaman just can just continuously heal them so eventually they're back at like 3k HP this is a little bit too OP in my standards now I believe that's really it about the juggernaut thing but also another thing that a lot of people are kind of like complaining about is the fact that he kind of does do a lot of damage and I obviously do know what they're talking about since he, his punches are fucking destructive or whatever so I do personally believe they should decrease the damage to like 21 or 22 because 25 whew, that's quite um that's quite impressive of a punch, really. And realistically, that's all I would change. The Shaman's healing regeneration um, speed or whatever amount, 
and also the speed the Juggernaut actually goes to walking distance or whatever, and then finally the damage to like 21 or 22. That's really it. The Juggernaut, when I was continuously playing with them, was very fun to use, but incredibly difficult to actually come across and kill as a survivor since literally they would just be jumping all over the place, literally going fast as hell, chasing you down, punching you and you flying into the sky, and as soon as you would fall down, they were literally right next to you, already dealing damage to you. This guy is very fast, does a ton of damage, and I feel like in today's basic, I guess, status, he is a very strong character and is definitely way stronger than the Banshee. Hopefully some nerfs come to him, and just as a spoiler alert, yes, he is getting a nerf to where he's going to have the Banshee global cooldown, which sucks because if you bought the, what's it called, the Game Pass, which is the only way to actually use him, it's basically a first come, first serve, so I guess that's a bad thing. So literally, if a noob just gets him, like literally right off the bat, or like someone gets them, literally like after like, uh, what's it called, a minute after the match starts, and they die, then what well, there's no juggernaut for the rest of the game i believe unless you get auto selected then there's a chance but that's bare that's like a that's like uh what's it called a rare sight to see so realistically he's gonna get nerfed either way but hopefully these other changes can help and yeah that's my opinion on really just the juggernauts getting nerfed do you guys have any suggestions or what you think he should why he should or should not get nerfed let me know and yeah i'll see you guys all about 42 years and break game.